Hi my loves, welcome back. So today I'm taking you shopping with me. Well, me and hubby I should say. As you know, Melbourne is out of lockdown. Oh, look up. As you know, Melbourne is out of lockdown. So we are heading into the city. We are doing some anniversary shopping. Might get hubby a present today. I might have a look around. It has been ages since I vlogged, so I'm excited to take you guys along. For those of you that are new, hi, I'm Mel. If you love shopping vlogs, stay tuned. I'm gonna be showing you some goodies, so I'll catch you in a bit. Hourglass, which is situated in Collins Street. Now the boutique was super busy, so Hubby and I thought it was best that we actually voice over. So what we are seeing here is the Rolex display, and most of these are date just. You can tell that they're date just because yeah, I mean you can see the dates on all of the faces. But you know when we went in there, I was actually surprised at how many ladies date just there were. I don't think we've ever seen that many on display before, right? No, I don't think so. So I think it's because after lockdown, you know, the boutique obviously just opened up. So it's actually nice that we got to see a few more because usually when we go in, it's like there. So most of these, as I said, are Datejust or Oyster Perpetuals. And this one is a blinged up one. <laughs> Look at the, it's, I mean, it's pretty with a butterfly dial. That's a very blinged up date, just that one. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this one is a day date? Yeah, that one's a day date. Nice with the blue. Still pretty blingy though. Yeah, striking with the blue, but doesn't look like hubby likes that one. Moving on to the men's. Uh, yeah, these are quite nice. These have the fluted bezel, but some of them have the Jubilee bracelet, some of them have the Oyster bracelet, but they're all mostly 41, so pretty big. And then these ones. Oh, a lot of day dates, uh, ladies' day dates, blinged up. They're very nice. A lot of, yeah, more ladies than men's Definitely. watches available. Oh, here I'm trying on the 41mm uh, Wimbledon with the fluted bezel and the oyster bracelet in the two-tone. Don't know about this one. It looks a little bit big on my wrist. I think I think I might suit the small watches, but it's quite nice. I think Hubby thinks it looks too big. Personally, I think it looks all right. And I think this cost around the Wimbledon. Oh, 13, 14. 13, sure. 14. This one's quite classic. This is a bit of a smaller. This is a new 2020 Rolex. This is an oyster perpetual, 36mm in the silver dial. But... Very classic, just came out in Melbourne. Is this the one where they nickname the Power Rangers? Yeah, they have a whole collection of like yellow and like candy pink and coral red and you know, they call this turquoise blue. It looks like Tiffany blue. So we've put a little, you know, cut away from the Rolex website. I think the most popular one is the blue. Blue, right? Yeah. Okay. So now we're moving on to Patek Philippe's. Not much on display. These are very expensive watches, but beautifully made they look really nice though oh this is that calatrava do you know this was fifty three and a half thousand dollars this calatrava in white gold well fifty three thousand but all patek philippe's are about that price point aren't they well that's because they only make like sixty two thousand of them a year so there's like 300 400 boutiques worldwide so you can imagine how little each boutique actually gets yeah i think the uh, sales associate was telling us that yeah that production's very very limited and um it's nice though i mean look at it alligator strap it's very very nice it's very simple it's very simple and what's oh, this, this is the, the, the case back mm -hmm. it's like a pocket watch you can open up the case and see the um the a24 carat gold rotor in the back oh look here's me trying on actually it's quite nice it's very very nice fifty three thousand mm. dollar nice i'm not sure but the indices are very, I mean, the first thing I noticed is that, I mean, even though it's got plastic on it, yeah. it's very polished, isn't it? Yeah, it looks really nice. And this is, what, 39 mils, I think it is? I think this is an ideal size for you. It's actually a really nice watch, but yeah, I'm not sure about 53,500. 53,500 Australian dollars, I should say. But yeah. it is a beautiful, beautiful watch. Oh, here's Tudor. This is the uh, sister brand of Rolex. Yeah. There's quite a few Tudor watches there as well. Oh, this is the other one which I was quite interested in. This is the Zenith uh, Dayfly, which has the skeletonized dial, so you can see right through it. Um, it's actually made of titanium. This one was super light, like almost too light. I'm not sure about the skeleton look for me yeah. personally, 
I think, oh yeah, this oh, one this is better. better. Yeah. This is the Day Fight Classic. So blue dial, a bit more conservative, which I liked. It's got the um, the, sh the, the leather strap, um, but I prefer it with the integrated bracelet, but it's quite nice. Um, I, I like the blue face. I think the blue face kind of suits you, your hairy mm -hmm. arms. Oh, thanks. Oh, look at this one. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> then there was only one Audemars Piguet available. And it's a Royal Oak. Yeah, Audemars Piguet. Royal yeah, Oak. it was an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. And this one was exceptional because uh, what the sales associate is telling me here is that the whole wristband is in a technique called something Florence Florentine something hammering, Florentine, Florentine hammering. hammering, and it's like exceptionally difficult to do, and it's because they were even surprised when they saw this in the store. They were because they, the guy said that they hardly ever see these ones, especially when there's so um, so much hand detailing on these ones. Yeah. But this is what the thirty three mil or thirty. This was the thirty three mil in rose suits. gold. So this uh, cost a pretty penny too. I think it was about 60000 Australian dollars. So they're all that price. But they're ones. all around that price. They obviously come with a diamond bezel. They come in white gold. They Is it white gold? No, steel. The, no. the popular ones, the popular royal oaks are in steel. Steel, sorry. Steel, rose gold, and also comes in yellow gold. And yeah, I actually, if I was to buy a watch, I really like the Audemars Royal Oak. There you go. Looks good on you. Oh, thank you. But still, I'd rather get your dream watch first. But as you can see, we did walk up with a little something for hubby. So now we are at dinner. It is so nice just to be able to eat out. Hubby and I are huge foodies. So yeah, just the, uh, us two, we're having Italian tonight. I hope the footage from before was okay, but um, if not, I will just voice over it or whatever. But yes, we did get hubby a watch, but I will reveal that soon. And yeah, it was just really nice. How gorgeous was that Audemars Piguet watch? Oh my goodness. I mean, it's only like $60,000. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm just so excited that hubby got something. So let's cheers to that. Cheers to your new watch. Agnolotti, excuse my Italian. It's all mince, but it's really subtle, like veal, pork, and even rabbit. But it's so good, and it's got sage, butter, and everything. Once you start, you can't stop. So good. Okay, so we have just finished dinner. We had a really early dinner because it's the restaurants have been so <laughs> booked out since we have been let out. Anyway, do you know when you eat to the point you are so full and you're sleepy? I've already got my Dior shawl, which I'm using as a blanket, and I'm like lying down. That was such a good meal. I think every single dish, hubby and I liked. So just really satisfied. You know, you know me. Food makes me so happy. Hubby and I just had such a great time out. So this is a very short but quick vlog. I hope that you still enjoyed it and coming with us. So if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and join the family. And up next, definitely we'll get Hubby to do an unboxing of what he got. And I will catch you guys soon. Bye.